Good day, my garden fairies. I am out here in the greenhouse, and uh, I had some questions uh, set out how, what I do with my dandelions. I have mentioned it, but I do have a garden of dandelions that I have collected uh, in my previous video. So here it is, and I'm so sorry for the delay on getting back. Um, I just have, pick any containers. Um, this is about eight inches. It's where usually you have your herbs or, or vegetables or flowers that doesn't need a lot of soil. Um, so what I did in the beginning of spring is I went out to the forest and I scouted out a whole bunch of little babies of dandelions just starting to come out. So I picked them out and I just placed them in, in, in the pots and it's just outside the greenhouse so it's low maintenance it's whatever rain gets in it it's perfect it's fine it grows on its own i don't really have to bother with it um it has a lot of medicinal um uh, properties people even buy uh capsules and uh from from the vitamin store just to have the benefits of the dandelions so i go all there when you can actually grow it and you can also bring this indoors and put it in a sunny window or um a semi sunlight whatever you guys have but um you want to get them at the early stage of when they're just still babies and you can put this in your salad um, it does have a little tartiness to it so it'll just give your salad like a nice pop and um, you don't need a lot of it because it's so tardy and if you let it get this big you know you could put it in the soup that's not a problem either um, depending on your preference um, if you do have a lot of it uh, and you can't bring it indoors so chop it off and you can even uh, just wash it rinse it air, air dry and package it and you can freeze it if you want it um, so that way you can add it to your vegetables or your cooking throughout the winter as well so I highly recommend that you actually put this in a smaller container where you can you can put a whole bunch of them in there because it'll just like plump up if, you, if it's coming to uh, winter and you can bring it indoors, a nice little plant, but also it's edible. So that's, um, that's what I've done with my garden. I will be having this in water, uh, sorry, pot bottles, um, uh, two liters. I have a dear friend who is uh, going to be able to give me a whole bunch more because I do not drink sodas or pot or anything like that, anything with sugary <laughs> I make my own drink um, except for wine of course so if you can even collect your bottles it's a perfect place to actually have it make your own little pot, uh, pot bottle garden that's all you need especially if you're in an apartment you don't need a lot of big um, containers for it to lose space so this would be a great option for to just have your to start off your little miniature um, dandelion garden so I will have more herbs that I'm looking at I will actually bring I have a lot of other weeds around my uh, garden so I actually kind of pluck them out and bring them to the nursery and uh, ask them again what they are and uh, what I can do like the benefits and research it myself because there are some really neat things that are coming here and I'm seeing the resemblance in my research so I hope that I have able to inspire you to have your own dandelion garden and um, start it and even teach your young ones what wildflowers and and their benefits are so that it's embedded in their mind and it's something they can do in a hobby and so forth so i hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day i'm just gonna take it easy and plant more um things toodaloo Mwah.